Hello there and welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with a fountain pen review, three years in the making. Marius Visser from Munich, Germany sent me an email on Christmas Day 2021 asking if I was interested in reviewing their prototype wood and titanium fountain pen, the Aeon, from the new pen company called Ashera. He explained that Ashera's mission is to counter consumerism by uniting modern minimalist aesthetic with artful, artisanal, and traditional manufacturing techniques, and that every pen they make is unique in the world, having been made by hand out of natural materials. The company is committed to a carbon negative footprint, and for each wooden pen made, they would plant 250 trees. That was three years ago this past Christmas. I said, yes, of course, please send the pen ahead and completely forgot about it because I never heard from him again. That was until a full 10 months later, when a big package arrived by DHL that I was not expecting. There was a letter from Marius inside the package which contained a large wooden box. I've already posted the video I did of that unboxing, which you can see by clicking right up here. After I opened it, I wrote Marius my absolute astonishment at this fountain pen. He wrote back with his plans for a Kickstarter campaign and asked me to hold my review until they were ready to go. I waited a couple of months and then wrote him back, but there was no answer until a full year later when he said they were not doing a Kickstarter, but they were going to release the Aeon as a limited edition of 999 pieces in the new year. So finally, after three years and two months, the Ashera Aeon, right now. Please forgive the background noise as it's minus 36 degrees Celsius outside. Canada. It was a frozen hostile wasteland. My good friend Nantuck and I would build an igloo to protect ourselves from polar bears and flying hockey pucks. And that means my humidifiers are going full blast. And if you hear a rattling sound, that's my teeth. I can't keep my teeth from chattering. Isn't that fun? I got these at Jack's Joke Shop in South Attleboro, Massachusetts. Remember, if it ain't funny, it ain't worth Jack. Ah, bitch. Now, I've already posted the unboxing video of this pen, and you can watch that video by clicking right up here. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. The Ashira Aeon is currently in pre-sales where you can reserve yours with a down payment of 120 euros by going to the website. I'll link that website in the description below. They project reserved pens to be in owner's hands by May 1st, 2024. As a preface to the review of this pen, I want to share some of the correspondence I've had with Marius of Ashera about the Aeon. He told me that this Aeon I have in my hands was his prototype, which traveled with him around Italy and Germany for two years before he sent it to me. He asked me for feedback on the pen, which he would use to refine the model further. I made three suggestions, all of which Marius has incorporated into the design of the current model. I suggested O-rings where the cap and barrel screw threads end to keep them from inadvertently unscrewing. I suggested sealing the inside of the cap wood to prevent evaporating ink from staining the inside of the wood and possibly getting through to the outside finish. And I suggested placing either an off-center weight to keep the pen from rolling or making a small flat spot here on the titanium uh, as a roll stop. I'm pleased to say he's accepted all of these ideas into the current design. I'm not sure whether the new design has the flat spot or the eccentric weighting, but I'm thinking that he's going to use the eccentric weighting. I'm going to use the brochure that came with the Aeon to show the available woods and some of the unique features of the Aeon. Ashera is offering the Aeon in six highly polished wood finishes. The brochure provided shows holly, olive, and walnut, as well as dark buckeye, light buckeye, and elm burl and the brochure has lots of terrific information about each one of these woods the second brochure shows details of the packaging and the pen itself the aeon comes wrapped in mulberry silk in a handmade waxed walnut wood box laid out in merino felt 
The bottom of the box has a walnut pen stand with Ashira engraved on it and a small divot to hold the pen. The nibs are number six size Bach, available in steel, gold, or platinum, and in fine and medium sizes. Ashira has designed the body of the pen in an ellipse, and the hardware is solid titanium. The woods are stabilized with epoxy resin and cured for two weeks before being turned on a lathe. The wood is then given dozens of layers of three different UV-resistant lacquers by hand. Each layer is ground and polished individually, and the walnut version is oiled before being lacquered to give it added depth. Here is the pen stand that comes in the bottom of the case. And here is the box again I showed you in the unboxing. It's beautiful, beautiful walnut and has magnetic catches on all four corners, is lined in felt, and the pen is wrapped in 100% pure silk and wrapped with a red ribbon. Now let's have our own look at this pen. Overall, the pen is indeed elliptical in shape. It feels like a long, thin cigar and is very light considering its size at only 27 grams. Marius says 18 of those 27 grams are the titanium hardware. There's no clip or roll stop, but I suspect the production version will have the eccentric weighting Marius and I discussed. The walnut has tremendous depth and figure, and the glossy finish is, I suspect, a combination of polyester lacquers that are UV cured, similar to the modern wood finishes innovated by Taylor Guitars. The cap tapers up to the titanium cap and barrel rings, and then the barrel tapers away to a thin matching point. Everything about this shape screams golden ratio, from the elliptical shape to the proportions of the cap and barrel. From there to there, and there to there, looks like a golden ratio to me. It's very elegant. The cap unscrews with one third of a turn, which is totally amazing because of that single titanium thread to reveal the tapering titanium section and the number six size Bach 14 karat gold nib and black plastic feed. The section isn't slippery. It's very surprising it's not slippery. It's very comfortable. It's got to be the titanium because there's some real drag on there. The step down from the barrel is rounded and very comfortable. And you see my name engraved on the section, and that is a feature as Shara provides for customers without a surcharge. The brand is also laser etched on the bottom of the section. Let's get a closer look at this nib. There's no branding at all on the nib. The nib and feet are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for maintenance or swapping. And 14K-585 is stamped into the gold nib, denoting the gold content. The section unscrews to reveal the included Schmidt standard international converter and production models will have this o-ring that I've added to the top of the nozzle on my version to keep the barrel from unscrewing when you're trying to uncap the pen. I was having quite an issue with the barrel unscrewing all the time when I was trying to uncap the pen, so I put my own O-ring there and suggested that to Marius. The inside of the cap shows no cap liner, but again, after consultation with Marius, Ashera will be sealing the wood on the inside of the cap. The cap will post, but just don't do it. The cap threads on the inside of the cap are sharp titanium and will score the lacquer on the barrel of the Ashera. Unposted, the pen is beautifully balanced in the hand. You can reserve your Aeon using the Ashera website. These are unique, customized, handmade fountain pens made from highly cultivated source materials and they're priced accordingly. The initial early bird pricing was 650 euros, but I'm not sure what the pricing is currently. It will certainly be north of that. Contact Ashira through the website for more information. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Ashira Aeon with a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, a Pelican M800 Blue Stripe, a Mont Blanc 149 in rose gold, and a Delta DV 2.0 Premium. Now let's look at them uncapped. I'll not post the Aeon because it's not designed to post, so here they all are unposted. You can see how significantly longer the Aeon is than any of the other very large pens. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample.
And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper. And this is the Ashera Aeon in Walnut. And it has a 14 karat gold number six Bach nib. And this nib is a fine. Let's check the wetness. It's beautifully wet. And very, very smooth. With a touch of feedback. For those of you that like smooth nibs with a little touch of feedback on the page, this is perfect. And the ink is what I think is a really nice match for this walnut colored pen. It's Graf Von Faber-Castell. Hazelnut Brown. It's a brown with just a bit of a reddish tinge to it. And I think that matches that walnut very, very nicely indeed. And as to line variation, you can really push out some line variation with this gold nib. It's close up on that and you can see the bounce. It's very, very nice. And the line this nib makes is 0 0.5 millimeters in thickness which makes it a western fine or a japanese fine to medium on my richard bender line width chart which you can find linked in the description below but when you push it you can get up to a 0 0.9 millimeter line which is in the western double broad territory and for our quote And for some reverse writing, it does so very capably. It's a lot, lot drier. And there's a bit of scratch. And for some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. This feed keeps up very, very nicely. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? This is unlike any fountain pen I've ever experienced, so it's hard to quantify and qualify. Marius said he built this prototype two years before he sent it to me. That means he's been working on the development of this pen since at least 2019. His brochure states the Ashera company was born in 2018. So the Ashera Aeon has been a full six years in development. And it isn't just the design of this pen, it's the design of the entire company. And perhaps more importantly, the mission of the Ashera company to be not just carbon neutral, but carbon negative in their corporate footprint. Yes, it's priced at the extreme high end for a fountain pen, but this pen is totally unique. They're not mass produced. If you have the means to purchase one of these, you will have a pen that's made just for you and no one else. I have to tip my hat to Marius Visser and his colleagues for this humongous undertaking and the resilience and wherewithal to endure a pandemic and still bring this product to market. We should all have such vision, energy, and fortitude. But how is this as a writing instrument and specifically a fountain pen? The pen is light and extremely well balanced in the hand and the nib is a wet, bouncy, beautiful writer. My handwriting instantly improves when I write with this pen. The deficiencies I noted in the prototype have been addressed in the production models, but the only one that really detracted from this particular Aeon was the unscrewing of the barrel when I wanted to cap and uncap the pen. I fixed that myself with a small O-ring on the nozzle. The packaging is incredible and a bit over the top for me, but I do appreciate the pen rest as it's very practical and a very beautiful 
display. My heartfelt thanks go out to Marius Visser for providing me with this prototype Aeon for review. I will treasure it always. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, sneak peek unboxing videos, as well as early access to all of my videos the moment I upload them. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. We're watching. Oh, that's nice. And that's all she wrote. I made this.